Okay, so here we go. I have a rough sketch of what the peacock body is going to look like, and in my palette I have the medium blue, I have the white, and the black. Now acrylic paints only mix when they are wet. So what you're going to do is you are going to first paint the body. When you paint the body, you're going to paint the middle to the right side, okay? Middle to the right. I'm painting that in with blue. Now, acrylic paint only mixes when it is wet. So now I just wiped off my paintbrush. I'm using the dry brush technique. I'm going to scoop up a little white from the palette so I'm not contaminating the cup. And I'm going to paint a stripe over on the right side. Now, a lot of artists in the fifth grade think, oh my goodness, I'm terrible at this. Look at this mess. Well, you're not finished. Again, I'm just going to wipe it on a piece of paper, my brush. Now I am going to do the dry brush technique. Just like I'm combing my hair, I'm just going to pull down the white only where the blue and the white touch. Now I have a good mix there. Now I'm going to go over a little bit more, just like I'm combing my hair. Now this is what beautifully happens. I have an area that is just the pure blue and an area of brighter white and then an area of middle white. So I can't quite tell where it starts to transition from white to blue, which is again, giving it that form. Now let's do the other side of the peacock, same process. Acrylic paint only mixes when it's wet, so I'm gonna paint the area I need to paint in my pencil line, fantastic. Now, wiping my brush off, the black, the teeniest, tiniest, minute, most minuscule, itty bitty amount of black ever. I'm gonna paint just the end of my peacock, just the end. I'm like tapping the brush. I'm getting a tiny bit of black on because black really takes over. Now I'm gonna take my brush, like I'm combing my hair, top to bottom, top to bottom. First I'm gonna comb the black smooth and then I'm gonna scoot over into the blue and blend it into the blue. That not the gorgeous plus seven. Now I have three distinct values. At least I have a white, a light blue, regular medium blue in the middle, and then that darker blue on the edge. Let's go ahead and do the head. Same technique, we gotta go quickly. I'm gonna paint half the head around that circle. Cool thing too is if you make a mistake, you can just go over with the black. It might be easier to paint over the eye and then draw the eye back in after you've painted it blue, by the way. Okay, so now I have the blue head, dip teeny bit in the paint, not a lot. I'm gonna tap it on, just on that edge, tapity 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 tap, tap 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 them. Wipe my brush, and now I'm gonna comb my face. Comb, comb, comb. First I smooth out the color, and then I blend it into the blue. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side with the black, so first the blue, and then I'm gonna do the tiniest, Bit of black, barely touching it. Look at that, a teeny speck. I'm gonna tap, 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 tap. And I'm gonna comb the edge, comb it out, comb and blend, comb it and blend it. Yes, comb and a blend, blend and a comb, comb and a blend, comb and blend, blend and comb. Fantastic. Okay, now if I wanted to make it more dramatic, I could go back and add more white. As long as it's wet, we are good to go.